hi, we're here to talk to you about psychology. Um, we'll start with what psychology is. So psychology is the scientific study of the mind and behaviour, so studying both humans and animals. And it is highly regarded now by universities as a science. Um, psychology study a range of disciplines. Um, they develop theories and conduct research on a range of topics. So, what's the main difference then between applied psychology and A-level psychology? So, studying for an applied qualification will not only give you an insight into psychological theory and research, but it will also give you a chance to work on your employability skills and also prepare you for higher educational study. Um, there will be lots of opportunities to develop communication and problem solving skills as well, and you'll get a mix of both independent learning and some learning in group settings as well. So in terms of careers, psychology um, opens a lot of doors. Um, some of the main um, careers are clinical psychologists and counselling psychologists which are concerned with health issues, physical and mental. Um, other really popular um, options for our students once they've studied psychology here with us is educational psychology where you would work in an educational setting. Forensic psychology again is very very popular where you would be working with prisons and in courts. Uh, research psychologists would be based in universities and also teaching students whilst pursuing their own research interests. And there are many, many other options as well, such as sports psychology, which is up and coming. Um, hence, this subject goes really well with PE. We get a lot of students who take it with PE and obviously other, su other subjects as well and disciplines such as law. So how will you be assessed in applied psychology? Um, so across the two years there will be four units. We have psychological approaches to start with and this will be assessed by an exam. Uh, then we will conduct research and this is more of a, a coursework style unit where you will be writing reports and then conducting your own study which will be assessed um, within school. And then in year two you will study health psychology. Again that will be an exam and then psychopathology which is more um, coursework based, again writing a written report. So this subject is really useful for those students who um, would prefer to do coursework based um, assessments as well as the exam um, and like to support their learning with internal tasks. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the four units that you'll study across the two years. So the first one will be psychological approaches, where you will be looking at four different approaches to how we would explain behaviour and then apply this to different um, behaviours like aggression, um, consumer behaviour like shopping and advertising and also how we would explain gender. Um, so again this is an exam, it will be 90 minutes long, worth 72 marks. So this unit we will be conducting psychological research, so you will understand a range of different research methods and then plan um, to research and investigate a psychological question of your choice. You will then be assessed by conducting your own study within school and this will form part of your coursework. Then in year two you will study health psychology. So there's a range of really interesting topics here about stress, gambling, smoking, alcohol. We will look at how to promote good behaviour change and stress management techniques. Um, we will then look at different treatments for these addictions and how we can maintain behaviour change over time. So that is an external exam. It is um, two hours long and worth 70 marks. And then the last unit you will study in year two um, is psychopathology, a really interesting unit where you will look at mental health and see how it was studied in the past and, um, and approaches to mental health and how people were put into asylums. And then you will look at factors that associate with mental disorders like um, genetic factors, family factors, um, environmental factors. And then also look at a range of different mental disorders, looking at how we can explain those disorders as well as treat them. And then we will look at the role of mental health professionals and how they help to, um, to help people with these different mental disorders. This will be internally assessed and you will write a report to explain psychopathology and cover a range of different points within that report. So, in terms of what to choose applied psychology with, the range of subjects that complement it really well. So, a lot of these are other social science subjects such as sociology, health and social care, childcare, and criminology. Um, but also, um, you will find that core subjects like English and Maths work really well, uh, particularly down to because of the literacy skills that you'll need to write your coursework. 
and biology, there will be some science within some of the units in terms of explaining uh, the mental illnesses. Um, if you've got any further questions, obviously don't hesitate to contact um, a member of the department. You can contact me, Head of Psychology, uh, on my email or you can find us in the Social Science Workroom.